Hey, it's Christina from the Eugene Science Center and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a really cool but still basic slime and this is something that you can do at home. So what I have in front of me is a cup full of two ounces of your regular old Elmer's glue. Um, this is something you can easily buy at any store obviously because many of you probably have that for school. Um, a few other things I have in front of me. I have a popsicle stick. This is going to serve as my stirring stick. You don't need anything fancy. Uh, I have some food dye just for a little extra color, a little extra fun. And then this I have is an activator solution. Um, this is borax with water. So borax is something that you can also just buy at any um, store, usually in the cleaning aisle. You mix it into water, fully saturate it, and make sure that it is completely clear once you are done um, stirring it. Uh, I also have a dropper in here. You don't need to have a dropper. You can use a, another utensil. This just makes it a little bit easier for me to measure out and put into my slime solution. The final thing that I have in front of me, and this is what's going to make it a little bit different from your normal slime, is I have lotion. And this is going to just add a little extra silkiness, a little extra smoothness, and slight extra stretchiness to my slime. So to begin with, I'm going to start with about four or five drops of color, just to make sure it has a really nice blue color. And then I'm going to add, I like to do two or three pumps of lotion. Doesn't matter what kind of lotion, any lotion around your house is perfectly fine. And so this is what it looks like right now. Nothing too fancy, everything just all in there, and I'm going to mix it up. Now here's the key thing, you have to make sure that you mix it thoroughly. If it is not completely mixed, your slime isn't going to form properly, and it's going to look weird. So there will be patches of color, patches without color, or chunks where the lotion was not completely mixed in. So make sure that I get all the way to the bottom. And I get everything completely mixed in. Now, I'd say that's looking pretty good. Now, I'm going to take my borax solution and I'm going to start with three dropper fulls is usually a good measure for me. I'm gonna do, there's one, two, and three. Every time you make slime, you'll need a different amount. It's just finicky in that way. Um, but once I have that in there, you'll notice that it is going to start sticking to my stick. It's already started sticking there and it'll start sticking to the side of the cup. Now I have to mix really vigorously and make sure that that borax solution gets completely mixed in with all of my Elmer's glue bakes. This is going to take a little minute. Sometimes if it's just sticking to the stick, I like to pull it off and stir it around a little bit more. So it's not just mixing around in the same way and I get everything mixed. Now, you'll notice I still have a little bit of liquid left in the bottom of the cup. It's not a lot, but it's a little bit. And that's not extra borax solution, that's actually still Elmer's glue. So I need just a tiny bit more of the borax solution. Now, I'm not doing a full dropper full, I'm doing about half. I'm gonna keep mixing that. Now, this is looking really good. But this is as far as I'm going to be able to get with just my stirring stick. So this is where it gets messy. So I am going to actually pull this out of the cup, try and get as much off of the stick as possible, put that off to the side, and I'm going to start working it by hand. Now, as you can tell, it is getting everywhere, and that is perfectly fine and perfectly normal. The more you work it, the more it's going to mix in, and the more uh, slime-like it is going to become. If it's sticking to your hands too much, what you can do is put just a tiny bit of the borax solution on your hands and that will help mix more of the borax in without adding too much. If you add too much, it gets this really weird 
um, scrambled egg texture, which is a problem. You can't come back from that. If you add too much, you can't come back. So start with too little and then go from there. Now, as you can tell, this is still pretty sticky. So I still need a little bit more borax. So here, I'm gonna do what I just said. Stick just a tiny bit on my hand, just a few extra drops and see if I can mix that in. Oop, got a little bit on the table, no problem. Pick that up. And here we go, we have our slime. Now this isn't perfect. I'd probably wanna work this a little bit more, but you can see that it is really stretchy and really smooth. And that's it.